vacant spot. Oh, they can't even see me. Oh yeah, look at that lighting. Got me a ginger beer. What you get yourself? You can say it, but you're just not gonna be on the film. Mm. You can talk, but you're not gonna be up there. <laughs> so what about to get us that? Mm. <laughs> he got oxtail, and then I got jerk chicken. And he got this Irish mimosas, Irish moss. And then we got some patties, but bring my patties over here for me. I'm about to kill them and shit. Man, I'm so hungry and I'm so tired. I need to sleep. Check out this patty, y'all. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of this place. Was... Amen. And what happened to Argentina this year? Oh, they're gone. They still have one more game to play. Mm. Technically, they're not out. We have good, wholesome people out here. Look what? Fire with the baby. Already. These are clean. Yeah. Now I'm gonna sleep, um, so that when we get home, I'll be ready to turn up. Excuse me. I'm right. I'm, I'm asleep, so that when I get home, I'll be ready to turn up. Excuse me. Good night. Excuse me. Good night. I sleep here. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep here. Oh yeah, he told me I couldn't sleep. I've been sleeping the whole time, you guys. I went to the gas station. Oh my god, this drive is so far and I'm so tired. But um, he said, go get some little drink, go pee. We're about to get back on the road. I think we only have like 35 minutes left. Let me go and get something to drink. Good morning, my baby daddies. Oh my god, this fan is trying to kill me. I slept a lot. I did a lot of sleeping. It's about like noon right now. And I'm not about to introduce nobody to y'all until I'm sure about it. But you guys want to see daily vlogs and things that I'm doing and stuff like that. So y'all get to see it. And y'all know that I'm single and I'm dating. And so I only date niggas that do shit for me. And he just made breakfast. So I'm going to show you what he made for breakfast. Some Caribbean shit. What if you never had to store your belts? I know. Mm. So you never had to waste time standing in line. Got the whole house to myself. That motherfucker went to the gym. And now I'm about to edit. I was supposed to go to the gym with him, but I was like, I gotta edit. And I woke up low key, not low key, but high key late. And not only that, it's probably like four o'clock right now. It's pretty late. <laughs> Four o'clock. Oh yeah, four o'clock, four o one. I was gonna say it's actually two, but no, it's four o one because it's two hours ahead over here. So I'm gonna have to re-export this because when I was traveling, I had to unplug my hard drive so I could put everything in there. So it stopped exporting at the very end. I'm thinking about getting a whole new like computer just for editing because this takes too long, or maybe a new software, but I'm just so used to this software that it's gonna be irritating to learn a new one, but whatevs, you know? If you know how to bootleg that, let me know, because I need it. That shit looks so easy to use when I be watching people's tutorials. I'm like, I'm out here struggling low key. Struggling, struggling. Right now, I'm gonna try and edit something else and then export it when we leave, because we're gonna go and get some food. And then I guess he said there's like a dairy factory over here and they sell ice cream and stuff. And so we're gonna go and try that. Oh my God, my nails are so ghetto, you guys. I keep breaking them. When I break them, I just take them all the way off. But I did these nails myself. I'm gonna do a video on how I did them. I did them myself because I said I'm not going to a nail salon anymore. They be stealing my money. I am about to let that happen. So, whew, let's cancel this because you're of no use. Are you sure you wanna cancel export? Yes. I want to see what it looked like though, Loki. I want to see how much exported. <laughs> That's gonna be so annoying. It finished. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? You ain't ready for this car. You ain't ready for this car. No. It just didn't get the last. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Cause my outro has changed, obviously, cause I have a new vlog channel. I'm, I don't have to re-export that. That's good to know. I don't know if y'all even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but the outro, like, I made it myself, and it's a little ghetto or whatever. But uh, you know what I mean? I did it myself, so I'm proud of it. I made everything, all the channel art, everything I did it by myself because. You guys probably don't know this, but my network is who made the channel art for 
my other channel and the intros and outros and stuff like that. Um, but that's the only thing they did for me and they were taking like 45% of my check or something, something crazy like that for four years. <laughs> only thing they did was when I was fed up and I was like, I don't even know why I'm with you guys. You guys can't do nothing. And then they were like, oh, well, um, what do you, what would you like for us to do? I was like, I need channel art. They made my channel art in like a week. And then I was like, I need an intro and outro. And they made my intro and outro in like a couple of weeks. And and then after that, I told them, I was like, I need thumbnails. I think they made me like three thumbnails. And then I would send them a video and I'm like, I need thumbnails for this. And they'll be like, we can't just always be making you thumbnails. And, I, and if I knew how much money they were taking from me back then, I would have been like, yes, the fuck you can. You making thumbnails for even the videos that I've uploaded since I've been with y'all. Y'all need to make up thumbnails for those too. Because what I did was I went back and I made thumbnails for all the videos that I didn't have thumbnails for because I felt like making my channel more professional and stuff. And um, if I knew that they were taking as much money that they were taking from me, I would have made them do that. Oh, you, you ain't ready, ready for this club. No. So you see this part? That's the only part that didn't. That's the only part that didn't come in to um, the video. So I'm okay with that. But everything else came out. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Oh my god, so we drove for like an hour in like 10 minutes. But we about to try this, well, he's already tried, but I'm about to try this steak. And I'm excited because I'm hungry now. And I should have like filmed the greenery, but I'm going to be here so y'all can see it some other time. It was so pretty. And I was just saying like all the people here, they live like a whole different lifestyle than me. So crazy. I wish I was raised on a farm. Well, we're here. Ugh. It's called Archie's. Still. <laughs> Archie's. I've been here for probably like 25 minutes. Morgan Strike. Um, this one looks like. Okay. Uh, Morgan Strike. I mean, we're sitting at the bar area. The dining area is over there. So, we're just waiting to get seated. The lady told us, it was like, she was like, it's not gonna take that long, maybe like um, an hour max. Bitch, that's a long time. <laughs> yeah, so we might be going in soon though because all the people that were there before us are not there anymore. Ooh. So we got the Mexican cheese balls. We got two orders of those. And they're really good. Let me show you. Dip it in some ranch. Let's burst in with juice. <laughs> Juicy. Like something else like that. We didn't even know it came with a salad and some bread. Some butter, some cheese. Oh yeah. So that was my steak, but look how small it is. So he traded me. <laughs> Appreciate you. I got a baked potato. Got some hash browns. And they skipped out on the mushrooms. So we're in the ice cream capital. Why is my battery dying so fast, man? I didn't even use it that much. And we're at Blue Bunny right now. Oh yeah. That sound like something naughty. Okay, so I'm a little frustrated um, because uh, I hate it here. Um, <laughs> that sounds so fucked up, but yeah, I don't know how people live in the Midwest. We were driving for like two and a half, almost three hours, just trying to get back, um, trying to get to Sioux Falls to meet up with Christina and Jasmine and stuff like that because. It rained for like a week or something and so all the roads were like closed off and I'm like, okay <laughs> So how do we get home? We literally had to drive all the way back <sighs> First of all, it was like an 80 mile drive, right? We drove like 20 miles and then we hit a dead end because flooding we hit a right drive about 12 miles Dead end flooding we make another right <laughs> drive about three miles dead end flooding. So we make a left drive about 10 miles 
and then make another right, drive like three miles, make a left, drive, and then make, like, it was just too much for me, bro. I'm like, I don't want to be here. And then not only that, a deer ran in the middle of the street. And then he had the nerve to fucking tell me that he hit a deer before. And he messed up his whole grill, his windshield, everything. He had to fix it, replace it. And I'm like, damn. He was like, yeah, it was about $2,000. I'm like, damn. And I was like, what about the deer? He said, it died. <laughs> Bitch, I was so sad because literally as we're driving, there's a skunk in the middle of the street. He drove right over the skunk. Like, it's an everyday thing, okay? He didn't run it over, but he drove over the skunk where the skunk was in between the tires and he was like I didn't hit it it went between the tires and it looks like he like cleaned the windshield when I was sleeping because I ended up falling asleep it was just too far of a drive but little bugs were slapping against <laughs> the windshield which was so fucked up because there's a lot of fireflies and you could see them like lighting up the little road and shit it was so cute but then <laughs> They would just run right into the car, and then their light would just dim on the windshield. It was the saddest thing ever. And then a little Bambi was, like, on the side of the road, and he slowed down. And then a little bit later, I was, like, not paying attention. And a deer literally ran across the road, and he had to, like, step on his brakes real hard. I was just like, no! And then... And then, now we're here. We're at Pave. So, you good? Yeah. So, we're about to go in. You got your ID, right? I got a passport. We didn't get to do what we had planned for today because I had a rough night, okay? I don't know. This side of my mouth, there's like a tooth that's fucked up. I don't know what's going on with it, but I couldn't sleep. for. I didn't go to sleep until after 8 when he, he went to the store and got some orange gel for me because he realized I wasn't sleeping. Like, I was just tossing and turning, like, crying and shit. He didn't know I was crying, no. I was in so much pain. I think he knew because he was, like, trying to hold my hand and stuff. So he just went to the store and got orange gel. Put that thing on about 8-something. And I slept until 3. So we didn't get to go. Thank you. We didn't get to go to where he wanted to go, which was the lake. But we're about to go get some food right now. And hopefully... See some of his friends again, see some of my friends again, because I fly out tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon. I leave tomorrow morning then. Mm, you sad? You sad that I'm leaving? Just heartbroken over here. <laughs> Look at how big these houses are. Jeez. It's not even the nice part of Canton. This is not having the nice part of Canton. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh my god. There's a nice part with my bigger houses. Every town has a part with the rich people in a golf course or something. Look at them on their little book. Like, people out here actually be outside playing and stuff. We don't do that in LA. We don't do that in Las Vegas either. Look at them all happy. Oh my god, I ain't seen smiles that big in my life. and we just chilling and grilling and drinking. The babies are playing outside. It's so cute. The weather's all nice and shit. Hey guys. It, I, was, I can't even say good morning because it is 419. 419. <laughs> we're just grilling, like cooking and stuff. Jasmine and Christina are gonna come over. They were like, I don't think they showed up in the vlog at any point, but I've been around them every day since I've been here. So at least, not like for long, but like I would. I've seen them every day since I've been here, except for the first day, which was Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, and today's Monday, and we've extended my flight to Wednesday. You know, just to spend more time with my people. So, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what we cooking. I burnt my mac and cheese, because I decided to take a shower when I put it in the oven, and then I got out, and I forgot I was cooking it. So I burnt my mac and cheese, and I make the best mac and cheese. It's burnt. So I'm making plantain porridge right here. It's just started, like I said, I started cooking this and I forgot that I was even making that. And there's some potato salad that's about to go down over here. 
It's raining? Uh, uh, stuck. Drizzle, drizzle. Let's not get the camera wet though. But we on the grill too, Cass. And look who's here, y'all. Hey. hey. Who wants money? Oh, hey. <laughs> No, bitch, when I was in Miami, I was. Where's your baby Didi? Ooh! <laughs> baby Didi! <laughs> Say some bees! Hey, here's your baby mama and shit, you know what I'm saying? No baby drama mamas, baby blood. And we not baby mama drama mamas. <laughs> baby drama mama blood, we don't. We, we all just took it up. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. I'm about to get drunk though. Me too. <laughs> hey. I, 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 I don't got like the juice like you do, but that's what I was feeling yesterday. I didn't want nothing. I just want my booty crack out. Pull it back. Like I ain't gonna fight it. I just don't want to be my guest. Make me one of my best and attack. She can't be on this rough stuff. They never met me. She's on fire. This shit is in a box to the left, to the left. Stina out here on the ones and twos. She got the salmon. She doing it the healthy way. She got the scramps. Oh, okay, okay. She got the asparagus. E. Okay, sounds good. Cena went and made herself a gourmet plate. Left everybody out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Be fat, be fat, be fat, be fat. I didn't plan on vlogging today. Let me turn it out. I did a lot of editing, you know. So, and after that, I slept, took a nap, woke up, and now I'm helping fix this basement because it was raining really bad. So, the basement flooded. So, we have to take out all the carpet and the insulation. I'm gonna show y'all. We haven't done this room yet, but. We got everything else done. Almost. Almost. We getting there. So that's why I'm sweating like that. I didn't go to the gym, so this workout helps. We done. This is the last little piece that we took out from the last room. All of the carpet and the um What's that thing called? The insulation? All of it is taken now. From every room. You can't see this room, but. From the laundry. Vacuuming up the water. The bathroom was good. This room was cleaned out. This room was cleaned out too. Oh, y'all done. And I'm gonna take a bath! Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, my makeup looks so cute. It was so simple. I just copied this white girl's makeup routine on YouTube. I'm headed to the airport. I'm so sad, dude. We changed my flight so I don't have to drive two hours to the airport no more. Will and I drive like 40 minutes. It's still a long drive, but it's way better than two and a half hours. From my blood, they get you get feeling.
morning my baby daddy so today um i want to see if i can go get my nevada id driver's license driver's license oh man i keep saying id i need to get a driver's license damn i was googling what i need for id not for a driver's license well hopefully it's the same so i really want to do my makeup and stuff because i don't know if they're gonna take my pictures today but you know i want to be popping but my hair i took out my um raggedy ass braids yesterday so now i'm really looking like crazy eyes people be trying to tell me i look like crazy eyes at first i was offended but i don't care whatever people be like you look like crazy eyes well because i have a gap but whatever i'm cool with that so i took out my braids yesterday and then i just put them in these little bantu knots so i can stretch out my hair so that way it's easier to get the relaxer through it and that actually worked. I put, it feels really like moisturized too. I didn't put any moisturizer in it, but it feels really moisturized. So, and yeah, that was a good method because my scalp doesn't feel irritated or anything like that. And actually I did these kind of tight. And then before I went to sleep, I loosened them because I didn't want um, my scalp to be irritated because I'm putting relaxer on it. So yeah, I don't know if I should film it. I haven't ever um, edited the last time I relaxed my hair. I haven't edited that, so. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like now. It looks really full. I normally have thin hair. I've always had thinner hair since I was young, but recently um, I've been doing this treatment on my scalp that's actually making my hair, hair grow in a lot fuller. So, um, yeah, it kind of looks full right now, but when I relax it, it's obviously gonna not look as full as it is or as it does right now. Yeah, 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 you can see that the tips are kind of like fluffy and the roots are just stuck. <laughs> so um, I decided I'm not gonna film it because I wanna get it done really fast. Um, but I'll show you guys the before and after. So this is the before. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. I don't give a damn about my edges. Like recently I've been putting the, let me tell you something. It was much worse two weeks, just two weeks ago. My edges were a hot mess. But for the past like two weeks, I was like, Amara, <laughs> just give a fuck. <laughs> Just give a fuck, okay? Because um, you guys know I don't like to take off my wig cap and shit. And it really be rubbing up against my um, edges. Like even like, normally it, normally I think this is hereditary on this side, but this has never like started balding until recently. So I think it's from the wig cap because literally the wig cap sits right here <clears throat> on, on the back. I don't even know if y'all can see that. What can y'all see? On the back, it's kind of balding too. And the, I never had that issue as well. Be, but um, like I said, because the wig cap sits back there and all the way across my hairline, then I have that issue now. But we're gonna see what this hair looks like after it's relaxed. So I like to use the motions. Never, never get the extra strength or the strong. I always get the regular or normal or even like the mild, okay? Do not go anywhere past regular. Because I almost, look, the reason why my hair is barely growing back right now is because I used to get extra strength thinking like, oh, I have a lot of new growth. I need to use extra strength. No, <laughs> don't do it. Like, or maybe, maybe my, I don't, okay, my hair is not strong enough for that. I don't know, I don't think anybody's hair is strong enough for that, but I know my hair in particular, like I said, you guys, my hair is kind of thin. So I don't think my hair is strong enough for that. And I didn't understand what relaxer was when I was younger. So literally this hair that you're seeing on my head right now, probably like three years, two or three years of relaxing my hair the right way. Not even. The last time I did it wrong was in um, LA when I was living with that crazy bitch. Y'all yeah, remember. Um, so that was, I moved here six months ago. I lived there for, okay, it's probably like two years. So two years of finally relaxing my hair right and trimming it and stuff like that is finally getting it to a good length. So <clears throat> do it the right way, y'all. I'm starting to feel a little tingle. I don't leave it on for too long. If I feel a little tingle, well, actually it's a little bit more than a little tingle. Like when I feel a little tingle, it's cool. But when I start feeling it, I start washing it. So I always use neutralizing shampoo um, because this obviously neutralizes the um, relaxer so that it doesn't keep burning your head and then I like to use this then I like to use this deep treatment um, conditioner and leave it in there for um, the time that I take my shower and then I wash that out 
at the end. So that's what I'm about to do. But hop in the shower and wash this shit out because it's starting to burn. When the hair is wet, it's nowhere near as full as it looked when it wasn't. But I'm about to blow dry it so you guys can see like it's actual fullness, but it is really thin on average to anybody else's hair, you know? Um, other than white persons, because you know white people have a thin hair. Not all white people though, don't get mad at me, but you know what I'm saying? But most black girls have thicker hair than this. Panel, I don't care, because I never wear my hair out. I always wear wigs and my wigs is flyer than theirs. Period. I didn't put nothing inside of it. I don't know if I should put some heat control, but like I always say, I don't really care much about how my hair feels, if it feels too hot. <sighs> I'm a big good person. Sleek and shine, hair. This is for flat ironing. I know my hair is so dry as fuck. That's why I don't like putting shit in my hair. really fast watch this I have a friend whose hair dries like takes so long to dry and her hair is probably the same length as mine but it takes like 10 times the amount of time to dry I wanted to see if I wanted to wear my hair in a bun for the um, driver's license picture but we'll see I'm gonna put it in a bun right now and if not then I'll just after I do my makeup I'll see and then I'll like braid it down or whatever I end up deciding to do but I don't like doing hair, y'all. I don't know how I got in this industry. Things need to be higher. <laughs> I want to be able to just, anywhere I pose, you can see the bun. How you natural hoes do it, I don't know. Woo! Right on top of that head, girl. A little better. Now, let's do something with these, can't even call them baby hairs. It's their embryo hairs, cause they damn near not in there, bitch. Shit. This is some plan B hairs. These hairs wasn't even almost about to be hairs. I love when I just relax my hair, cause I don't need to put too much shit on it. It just kinda lays. Y'all know how it is. Y'all used to relax your hair to put your weaves in. I'm sure while you watching this, you low key a little bit jealous because you natural, but it's cool. Stay natural though forever. This only lasts for a couple of weeks being able to do this shit that easy. <laughs> After that, I gotta wait four months at least before I can have this type of easy ass hairstyle again. All right, time to do my makeup. You store hair. I'm trying to wear these eyelashes, so I gotta show it to them first. OOTD. I have on my Fashion Nova. Oh, this is a whole Fashion Nova outfit. I have on a Fashion Nova crop top. It's a rainbow colored one. And my Fashion Nova Pum Pum shots because it's hot as fuck outside. And then I just have on some rainbow toms to match my rainbow top, even though they're not the same color. But <laughs> toms are still the most comfortable shoes you will ever have. So. I went to the DMV and then I left. <laughs> I went home, I was chilling, I was talking to my friends. And um, then I went to Domino's and I got my Tom um, pasta. And now I'm headed back to the DMV. Um, when I first got to the DMV, I had 129 people ahead of me and now I have 124. <laughs> I'm so pissed because I would have been really sitting there waiting like, boo-boo the food. Boo boo the motherfucking food, y'all. Big lots, I love big lots. I think I'm gonna do a video about um, exploring big lots because I be having a ball in there, y'all. Literally having a fucking blast. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just hoping I'm headed towards the right way because I just be exploring, y'all. Ooh, check out that lighting, though. Cause it wasn't looking like that a minute ago. Ooh, I like so cute. I got my little pasta, but I ain't got no water, but I ain't got no juice, nothing. So I'm gonna see if I can get 
something. I have so many people ahead of me. I'm gonna fucking edit a video. I'm gonna fill out this form they told me to fill out. I'm gonna do whatever I can do to pass some time. Where the fuck is my memory card? <gasps> 43? Oh, 157. I was like, 43? Got a lot of stuff today. You wanna put this on top? Yeah. So I stopped at Best Buy and almost made a horrible decision to buy a camera because this one be overheating when I be trying to film my videos and it makes me end up making like short ass videos so <sighs> Jesus um I applied for a credit card and it was like no they always tell me no ain't no way around it I think <laughs> It's so weird. I went grocery shopping, and you know what irritates me? Because tonight I wanted to make some plantain porridge. So I bought some non-ripe plantains, right? <sighs> that means they were green. Does this look green to you anymore? No, it fucking ripe in the car. What the hell? Look, this is the color it used to be. And now, look at what's happening. The, uh, this is my biggest issue with like, plantain and bananas here in Vegas they ripe on the way home look that's how green it was and now look at it I'm getting so frustrated I'm trying to get the Canon T6i you see it's not as green as it was you guys didn't know what color it was when I first got them but trust me those were like completely green but I left them in the car while I was at Best Buy my bananas were pretty green too, so hopefully those have changed colors as well. Anyways, I wanted to get the Canon T6i. Bananas didn't change that much. Oh yeah, they did. The tips were green and the um, tops were green, and now just the tops are green. So they did change too. <sighs> That's weird. Well, I'm gonna kill those. I'm about to make myself some food for the week. I wanna make some tacos for tonight, and then I wanna make my plantain porridge for later. I'm gonna rest for like 15 minutes and I'm gonna get to work. I bought some um, cleaning supplies, y'all. I'll show you guys. So whenever I buy cleaning supplies, I just be so excited to clean. Who else is like that? Don't y'all get excited when you buy cleaning supplies? It's like opening gifts as an adult. You open up your cleaning supplies and you clean. Oh my God, what is my life coming to? I end. Anyways, <laughs> that got real dark. The T6i is on sale for like $300 off or something at Best Buy, so I wanted to buy it, but after taxes and shit, it would have made sense to buy it off of Buy Didge again, and so I think that's what I'm gonna do, because it comes with a Rode speaker at the store, but it's a, a Rode microphone, but I actually wanna get a real microphone, so fuck that Rode shit, because the Rode is for like people who vlog and stuff, so the, cam the, the microphone is like right here in front of the camera, and you're talking and it can hear you, but um, I want to get like a real microphone that can stand on my desk or like whatever so that people can hear me um, talk if I need it and like you know get a legit microphone with the set that I'm gonna get and I want to be able to switch out the lenses and stuff the one that they're selling at the store um, came out to be 649 how much did it come out to be it came out to be 649 Whereas if I was to buy it on that buy ditch, it comes with three lenses plus um, three shade lenses plus a 128 digital wait a 128 gig memory card and you know like all the stuff that came with this camera except for it's a different camera obviously so I was just like okay you know what I'm saying it makes more sense to pay the extra fifty dollars and get all of these neat things instead of you know whatever they doing because I know that when I get on buy Dig anyways they normally have coupons for like five hundred or fifty dollars off of um, six hundred dollars or more or whatever so I know I'm gonna end up getting a good deal if I do it on buy Dig anyway so yeah and it's free two-day shipping so I'm gonna have it by Monday if I buy it right now but I don't know I might just leave it because I am going on vacation so I might just have to deal with this camera for a little bit longer you know sometimes I'm making impulse decisions and that's not a good look don't do that. I have issues. I'm gonna take my little break. I started my period today while I was at the DMV. Did I tell you how angry I was that I sat in line at the DMV and 
I was really angry when I got out the DMV. You guys, I, hadn't, I haven't been that angry for so long. The lady, when I checked in, she told me that I needed um, a birth certificate and a passport. Two things that I bought. And so I was like, okay, that's what I got. I literally said, that's what I have. So, you know, she's like, okay, perfect. You know, sign in, go sit down, blah, blah, blah. I sat down. And I was like, let me go home and do this and do that. And then I was like, let me get some food. I went all the way back to the DMV. You know, I sat down for another two hours. I was on the phone with my friend and I was just waiting. And then they were like, we're about to close stuff. So you need anything from the car? You better go get it now. So at this point, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I need anything. Let me make sure. So I go up to the front desk and I'm like, hey, so just trying to figure out if I need anything. And the lady was just so dismissive. She didn't want to talk to me. She was like, oh, if you don't have your um, California ID, then you can't get it anyways. And I was like, well, I took a picture of my California ID. So if you need the number off of it, then I have it. You know what I mean? Which is always important. If you have it right now, stop what you're doing, take your ID out and take a picture of it. Because if you lose your ID, you're going to need that information to get a new one so either memorize it or take a picture of it um <clears throat> so yeah that's what i did and um i showed her the number and she was like okay well you're gonna need this and then i was like yeah that i have that she was like okay well you need to be in the line before 4 30. i was like i've been here for four hours and i was like and she was like oh okay well you need a social security card and i was like oh i don't have that and she was like yeah you need one and she pulled out a paper it was like almost like she was just trying to make sure i had everything and she finally found something that i didn't have and she was so satisfied that i didn't have my social security card because i don't have one so i have to wake up in the morning um i don't have one because i used to carry it around in my wallet which i heard you're not supposed to do after i lost it and my whole purse was stolen one time my wallet was in there and so i don't know Anyways, so, I don't know where that shit is. You feel me? Um, but, somebody could literally, but somebody could literally steal my whole identity. Whoever has my purse could literally take my whole identity. <laughs> because, but this, this was a long time ago. This was like Halloween two years ago or something like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, I never needed it again. But they told me now, like, you need it. And so I think I'm going to wake up early in the morning and go to the social security office and get a social security card. <clears throat> and then and then after that I'm going to go back to the DMV to get my driver's license. So that means I have to get cute again tomorrow. That was not the plan. Oh my god, when am I even going to make it to the gym? Who knows? Probably not going to go to the gym. Even though I need to. I need to. But yeah. I'm gonna rest for a couple more minutes. And then get my yasa. And you know what I say. Get to fucking work. Because I can't wait to eat my shrimp tacos. Yeah. Oh I can't wait to eat my shrimp tacos. Yeah. Yeah. And let's tell me this sneeze. I'm about to open up this chicken. I'll show you guys everything else that I got later. Let's put the cheese away. Ooh. Because it's hot in Las Vegas. Um, I threw the onions in already. Sauteing those. Put a little bit of oil in there with them. My brother just called me and told me he's coming to Vegas. So I guess he'll be here later tonight. Or in the morning. Right oh, I got a lot of like cleaning supplies like I said. And some skincare. So a little bit of makeup because I've, I've been looking for my favorite mascara and eyeliner that's what I've been on the search for so I've been trying different things all the Maybelline ones that I tried recently actually I hated them I know I was telling you guys that some of them were good but oh none of them were good <laughs> none of the eyeliners that I bought in a previous vlog were good anyways so yeah this is my regular face scrub this is what I use every day in this in the shower um, st. Ives then I got some baby powder I got some push tacks or some push pins for my wigs. Some more. What? I ran out of battery, but let me show you guys the rest of the stuff I got. So, where was I? Let me just start over. I got some Fabuloso. This is to clean the floors. I got some dish soap. Got some body soap. This stuff is really good. It's very moisturizing. I got some St. Eyes. This is what I use in the shower to scrub my face. I got some push pins. This is for my wigs. Got some baby powder. I use that for makeup. I got a red and a blue bandana because I have this 
denim jacket and I want to kind of make a statement and I want to um, tie both I want to cross out the flag with these two flags pretty much like uniting the red and the blue and um, you know canceling out the red white and blue um, yeah you know I got real deep on that one huh but that's what I want to do because I was at first I was like I need to change it to a Nigerian flag but then I was like fuck that I'm just gonna cross out the American flag but then I was like ooh, it'll be dope if I cross it out with bandanas red and blue because you know bloods and crips and then you know if we just united and stop fighting ourselves and fight America we could be great got um, the mr. clean magic eraser because one of my baby daddies told me it works very well because my tub keeps getting really dirty and it's irritating because um, I hate dirty bathtubs and I can't wash my tub every time I get out the shower sometimes I'll be in a rush anyways I got some hefty ultra strong lavender and sweet vanilla scented um, trash bags I got a whole bunch of red cups because I don't want to wash cups anymore okay I got some Clorox wipes one for my bathroom one for the guest bathroom and one for the kitchen I got some detergent this is the great value the Walmart version of it of gain um, it really smells good and you know it it works just as good as the gain so I just stopped buying gain and started buying these instead because they're cheaper obviously then I got some Drano I got two big old tubs because my bathtub is clogged and I don't know what to do about it y'all and then um, you guys know I've been trying to figure out what mascara is my mascara I used to have a favorite mascara but they stopped selling it so the only way I could buy it is online and now they're really expensive because they're scarce um, and then I got this Remo gel liner so we're gonna see how those work I ran out of ketchup so I got some ketchup running out of jelly so I got some jelly um, oh my mayonnaise is spoiled oh this comes it comes with ketchup on the side my mayonnaise is spoiled so um, well it just expired so I had just bought a new one and then um, <laughs> my peanut butter has been expired for a really long time so I bought a new one I don't I don't really think peanut butter is supposed to expire, pero like, you know what I ain't saying? I'm just going to be safe and buy a new one. So then um, I got some cilantro for my shrimp tacos, with sour cream for my shrimp tacos. I got some spinach for my um, plantain porridge, which is cooking. Oh, I didn't even show y'all what I did. Okay, so the chicken cooked a little bit, and when the chicken cooked a little bit, I poured the plantain in, um, and then I poured water to the level of the plantain and the chicken and then I'm just gonna let it cook like this um, I'm supposed to season it but I'm showing you guys my stuff real quick now I'm gonna season it I got some tomatoes I got some lemons I got some apricots actually I want one of those I love apricots and I got some bagels so you guys know I'm on a low carb diet so um, yeah probably not anymore because I really really be missing my bread at least let me have it and not eat it you know I probably do better at that. I got onion and watermelon. And you know, I have plantains and bananas. I got cheese and chicken, but I already put all that stuff away. So yeah. Now I'm about to season this. This is curry. This is chicken bouillon. So. Curry. Use some red pepper a little spice oh and I put a little salt and pepper on the chicken while it was um, sauteing with the onions some thyme this gives it that African flavor that we be looking for you know when the plantain starts absorbing the water it kind of turns into like um, a porridge that's why it's called plantain porridge like it kind of gets mushy kind of like potato salad and I put a lot of chicken in here because I really like my chicken thighs so it's pretty much chicken thighs with plantain instead of plantain with chicken thighs. So I don't care. That's how I like it. So I'm about to make my taco meat. I'm using shrimp, of course, as you can see. Shrimp only takes literally like 45 seconds to cook. So, well not literally, but literally like three sec three minutes to cook but since these are frozen it's gonna take a little bit longer put a few onions at the bottom um, this water is gonna irritate me so I'm gonna be draining draining it out as you can see the shrimp are already turning their right color so I do not like to cook my shrimp too much that's like a pet peeve of mine actually like I hate strong shrimp I need my shrimp to still pop in my mouth you know 
And some people don't know that shrimp only takes until they're pink. This one's already done. I could eat this one, <laughs> you know? Like, so some people don't know that. Some people think you just have to cook and cook and cook and cook shit, but unless it's pork, you don't have to cook it that much. And chicken, obviously. All right, now I'm gonna put some seasoning in it. Now it looks like everything is not frozen. I squeezed some lemon in there. Did I show you guys that? And then I'm gonna put some salt and some pepper. I don't like to do too much for my seafood. If I had some like Old Bay, I would use some of that. Oh, a bit of parsley flakes. And some black pepper. Where is my black pepper? Season your shrimp like white people season their food because um, shrimp already has like its own flavor, you know? It has like an oceanic, if that's a word, type of flavor. So for me, right now, I would taste the water. Oh, that's nice. I don't need to do too much, you see? Has a little bit of citrus. If I wanted to right now, I'll put some um, garlic powder. Yeah, I'm gonna put some garlic powder. A little bit of garlic. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. My shrimp is almost done, my nigga. That's the reason why I waited so long to cook the shrimp. See, my, woo, my plantain is already almost done. Then I'm gonna chop up some um, tomatoes and some spinach and I'm gonna throw it inside of there and it'll be done. So I'm gonna give it one more minute and then I'm gonna turn off the heat and just let it sit in its juices. I put my shrimp in there for 30 seconds on top of a tortilla that has already been fried and some Parmesan slash mozzarella cheese. And then I'm just gonna first squeeze some more lemon. And then some salsa. Chunk chunk. You need some sour cream. Then some sour cream. Ooh. And then some cilantro. And here we go. Some tacos shrimp tacos all right let's try this out mm. your baby mama throws down y'all my shrimp are perfect these are good whenever i try some of my food i'd be really wondering how some restaurants are open because i go to some mexican restaurants and their tacos don't even taste like this and these corn tortillas, I don't think I'll ever buy any other one. These are good. You know, before I bought them, I smelled them. I was like, something smells like fresh ass tortillas. And it was these ones. And so I bought them, and they actually taste like they were made in my kitchen. Next time I learn how to make tortillas, shit, watch. He in love with that coco. That was really good. All right, time to clean. So this is what the tortillas look like. It says corn tortillas. What's the name of the brand though? It's by La Banderita. 
They smell hella good. They're crumbling. The last few are crumbling. That's how you know that they're legit. You can see the last few of them are like all broken up and stuff. That's how you know they're legit. But I ain't gonna eat all these anyway, so I'm really tripping about that. But these are good. I'm, I low key feel like just making little quesadillas out of them. That's how good they are. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Watch your mouth, watch your mouth. You ain't ready for this call. You ain't ready for this call. Nah. Smash for the call. Dash. I'm out. Smashing for the.